In this video, we're going to look at how you can install and use the UDM theme in PowerPoint on your desktop. A PowerPoint theme makes it easy to give all of your presentations a consistent look and feel, and the UDM theme in particular is good for providing a UDM branded experience that is both clean and attractive. First, you need to download a copy of the theme. We've made the theme available in a number of places, but if you need a copy, it's probably easiest to get it by emailing ids at udmercy.edu and requesting a copy. As you can see, the file size is very small, so there's no problem emailing it. We offer the theme for both widescreen and traditional layouts. Though it may require an extra step each time you start creating a PowerPoint, we do recommend the widescreen, particularly if you plan to record a presentation and then provide it online. Once you have the file or files, double click the one you want to install. You'll see this opens PowerPoint with a the theme displayed. Click the Design tab, then click the More button in the lower right corner of the Themes panel. Then, down at the bottom, we choose Save the Current Theme. Give the theme an appropriate name. In this case, I'm planning to install both the traditional and widescreen, so I'll want to include Wide in my file name. Then click Save. That's really all there is to it. You'll see when I close and then reopen PowerPoint, if I click the Design tab, there's the theme. Just click the theme to use it. Unfortunately, PowerPoint defaults to a traditional aspect ratio, even for a widescreen theme. You can tell the theme doesn't fit the aspect ratio by the way the UDM logo in the lower right is squished. To switch to a widescreen layout, still under the Design tab, I click Page Setup, then select the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Finally, if you want to use this or any other theme as your default, simply right-click the theme preview, then choose Set as Default Theme. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact the Instructional Design Studio.